Hello everyone. Today is Saturday, July 15th, 2023 at 12.32 a.m. in the morning. Well, I already got like quite a bit of harassing and abusive comments. Today was a day that I wanted to be a good day and a perfect day. But, um... My day is ruined before it can even start. But then, like, right after midnight, y'all start flooding my videos with um, harassing comments. So, wow, the gang, the online gang stalkers, they want to manipulate things for me to just look so bad. And as crazy and nonsensical as possible. You have to be a gang stalker. The fact that I don't know you. Um, Satan's gem who falsely call yourself God's gem. The fake comments you're making about me. I challenge you to get on your YouTube video. I'm... Make a YouTube video and reveal your reveal yourself, reveal your face and name. But y'all hide behind your phones and you know your technology to do all this coward shit. A lot of y'all have this hatred towards me and don't even know me. And then I mean, why falsely call yourself God's gym when you're doing Satan's work? So, you falsely call yourself God's gym while you're doing Satan's work. And you, everything, as I said, like everything y'all do is spread is nothing but lies. And it seems like y'all make lies so bizarre and then you manipulate people to believe that y'all nonsensical lies is truth and logical and makes sense and have everybody flock to y'all and believe y'all lies. But I'm telling, not only telling, but I've been showing y'all straight up, you know, transparent, overt proof and evidence. And Y'all still think that I'm bizarre, crazy, and lying, and everything like that. So, Satan's gym, you're not God's gym, and you're not chosen. Satan's gym um, lied on me and said that, you know, and they put the real reason in all caps. The real reason why she did this is because this, that. So... Um, so yeah, that person, they had another person who pretended to be fake, nice and calling it, keep it real, keeping it real or something, you know, try to make remarks about why I never look into the camera. A lot of, I already did a video explaining about that, but, um, but I, I mean, I don't come on here for you. Fuck your fake ass. Cause you just revealed yourself as a perp and I blocked you for that. Talking about me being so negative and stop thinking everybody's following you and you're so negative. Oh, you see why every you see why so many people unfollow you. Well, why the fuck were you following, you fake bitch? You ain't keeping it real. You should change your name to keeping it fake. Cause you a damn perp trying to gaslight discredit. Funny how y'all participate in bullying and harassing and then trying to talk about that, oh, you should be, um, you know, you should be positive and happy. You want me to be positive and happy while y'all stripping me of everything. So keeping it fake, I encourage you and give you permission to fucking both unfollow me and block me. Go ahead, bitch. Because at first you started off with fake flowery, glittery comments. 
and fake encouragement. And the mo one moment I show that you see me exposing the gang stalking, oh, your narrative, your tune changes. So you are a, a fake perp from the get-go. You don't call somebody negative for um, exposing their gang stalking. They got a lot of us that's exposing this shit, and you're part of it. Thank you for revealing yourself soon enough. Keeping it fake. So, um, Satan's Jim lied on me and said that, um, the real reason why I, um, flooded my, vi my, um, my channel with so many of my other videos she, that person lied and said, oh, it's to cover up. Um, see that? You hear that loud that loud vehicle right outside? So um, that fake Satan's gym lied and said <clears throat> that I, um, you know, that the real reason why I, um, you know, publicize so so many of my videos and flooded every. They, they try to make it falsely make it like as if I cover it up, as if I try to cover up saying crazy stuff about the lady from the um from the the fake social security office. And then she's like, "Oh well, perfect timing for right right before she um." You know, perfect timing right before she um, goes outside and goes send it off in the mail. Actually, me publicizing, republicizing my old videos, that's, um, I have been in plan to do that and I did it on my other, on my other channels too. So it, it's like me republicizing my old videos had absolutely nothing to do with the um you know it had absolutely nothing to do with the um like totally no relation to the social security stuff you know so in a narcissist mind because that satan's gym is an, an abusive narcissistic gang stalker and try to gaslight and discredit me people are driving out with barren headlights that's not even normal. And burn headlights is not even common like that. Y'all know what y'all doing. And you're a regular perp, not a fake TI perp, but a regular perp act like as if you think that you know so much about how a real TI will be acting out in the community. So, um, So they've been harassing me with the noise and loud bass all night and all evening, you know, for the past few hours. So um, Satan's gym also, you know, told so many lies and then try to talk about, you know, me being schizophrenic and crazy and all that. And then lied on me and said, oh, yeah, she does that. She um, she does lick her earwax and stuff like that. I never lick my earwax in any of my videos. I never eat my earwax in any of my videos. And she, the perp lied and said that I eat my earwax and boogers. Talking about, oh, she be digging in her nose in her videos and stuff. So, um, then that person was like, well, I must find out that phone number to the cabin. So the online gang stalkers are being more aggressive at, you know, making threats to contact the cabins and have me back homeless on the streets. Y'all y'all ought to go to prison for that. Y'all should go to prison. If I got to end up back homeless on the streets, y'all need to go to prison. Because y'all y'all are trying to set me up to get murdered and die. Just so that if I get harassed and gang stalked and I stand my ground and stand up for myself, y'all will try to falsely make it like as if 
I'm asking for to get hurt or killed. Y'all just want to, you know, you know, y'all trigger, harass, and provoke online and in person. And then when a the target try to defend themselves, and you feel like you have to have the first and the last lick, just so y'all want to feel justified in hurting and killing a target, and then say that you, we asked for it or that we got what was coming to us. And then, like Jordan Neely. You, you know, people want to talk about. So I can't speak. The, I can't speak ill of a dead Freemason who participates in gang stalking. Well, participated when he was alive in gang stalking. Oh, I'm so foul for that. But as soon as a targeted individual gets murdered, y'all use the gang stalking slander campaign, the smear campaign, and lies to justify why a target deserved to get killed. Why they deserve to die. But y'all gang stalkers are a whole bunch of liars, murderers, thieves, and um, everything else. So, as I said, um, me, you know, publicizing older videos was unrelated or had absolutely nothing to do with me sending off my social security letter. But, you know, I try to um, publicize the videos in the middle of the night while people were sleeping because, and but I think I did it too late because it was four o'clock in the morning and I, and I couldn't sleep. They kept vibrating my body and I couldn't sleep. So, um, and they mainly were vibrating my feet and I couldn't sleep. And my anxiety was really high. So, you know, to try to pass the time, I went and, um, you know, publicized my old videos. But <clears throat> as I was trying to say earlier, well, yesterday, is that when I'm at hotel and motel rooms and I'm homeless on the streets trying to survive and everything, if I didn't post publicly the videos because um, I didn't publish, I mean, publicize the videos because of me I mean, because if I were to publicize the videos of fighting against the gang stalking, the online gang stalkers would call up the place and have me wrongfully banned forever. Like the Super 6 Motel, they were crooks and gang stalkers and tried to kill me over there. And now I'm wrongfully banned for the rest of my life from, from Super 6 Motel. So, um, you know, the gang stalking network, they want me out of this cabin. They want me out of this cabin and they want me back homeless on the streets again. Or they want me locked up somewhere. Y'all don't, I mean, I really, I mean, but when y'all go to hell for you, the wickedness that y'all do, um, y'all going to feel like when, when, you know, when it comes judgment day, you know, I guess I have to accept that if I go to hell, I deserve it. But, you know, I would like to try to, um, you know, try to keep pressing into the kingdom of heaven, you know. But I'm far from worthy to deserve to go to heaven. But, you know, as I said, I'm trying to make attempts at trying to straighten my life out. But, um... I'm trying, you know, to get right with God. But see, if I'm in a place like this, it's easier to do than when I'm homeless on the streets because being homeless on the streets, you got so many distractions around you. Every, like devils every damn where. So they don't want me at peace of a solitude and try to get some alone time with God or um or any of that, you know. Um they don't want me with alone time with God and trying to better myself cuz the gang stalkers want me in hell. But some of them are proud satanists though, but other ones try to hide behind Christianity. 
but the symbolism is there. You know, you, you'll tell somebody to repent of their sins and turn to Jesus Christ, but then throw up the Baphomet hand sign while, t while simultaneously telling me that. So um, you are a Satan worshiper pretending to be Christian and pretending to be holy. So y'all gang stalkers want me punished and, you know, y'all, I mean, if, <clears throat> so I mean, what make y'all think that I'm trying to hide something about the social security when I publicize the letter that I wrote? Of course, my personal information, I didn't publicize that. But I publicized the letter and I let them know that I know that y'all participate in gang stalking and human trafficking. I wasn't even supposed to be on Social Security because I did not consent in the first place. That's that fake foster mom. You know, did what she did. And now I'm sitting here forced to be a slave to something I never wanted in the first place. But she manipulated for me to be blacklisted and everything just so she can um, be stealing my checks, you know, every month, every fucking month. But I was able to break away from her. She lied to me and said that my social security check is not my income. Come to find out I'm my own employee. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm my own paid. So she was stealing my money and lied and said that that wasn't my income. What fucking adult can live off of 200 fucking dollars a month? Even back then you couldn't. I didn't say that. I mean, in the first place, I didn't even want to fucking live with her after I turned 18. But they made these arrangements for me to be forced to go to a college that I didn't want, that I never wanted to go to in the first place. For me to be forced to go to a, a university I never wanted to go to in the first place. And guess what colors that nickel state had? R red and gray. Like fake West Jefferson High School. Yeah. Scarlet, which is red, and gray silver. Those were the school colors. One-eyed, um, you know, one-eyed symbolism with a fake pirate. West Jefferson Buccaneers and um, Nickel State Colonel, their mascot was the same. But um, but University of New Orleans UNO was blue and white or blue and silver or something. But I guess they were no better because I didn't know back then. But they had a symbolism of one-eyed pirate also. Pro UNO Pri University of New Orleans UNO privateers. So, um, so I don't know why the gang stalkers want me pun with earthly punishment, earthly castigation, but they freak out like when you spray rope, when you spray and fumigate roaches, they'll freak out, they'll freak out and spaz out when I say y'all going to hell and they'll make it like I they got the authority to dictate that I deserve this X, Y, Z because of what they falsely accused me of crimes that you falsely accused me of committing with no proof, just false, not even malicious. I mean, not even false assumptions, but y'all want to be m maliciously lie. I have proof that I never ate my earwax in any of my videos. And neither did I wipe my ear earwax on my lips. But yeah, I, I dig in my ear and I smell it. Sometimes I don't even be conscientious that I do it. But never have I, you know, try to lick and eat my earwax or my boogers. At least not on camera. And I don't even be um eating my boogers, you know. I don't even eat my boogers. You know, so um, as I said, they just want me to be looked at as nonsensical, as crazy as and as crazy as possible. But I mean, but you, the thing, they'll y'all will think that I'm not mentally capable of driving a car. 
have like taking care of a child or um you, you know driving a car taking care of a child or having a gun y'all think i'm not mentally capable of that but if y'all want to falsely accuse me of murder or something or harm to a child Y'all would hold me responsible and think that I'm competent enough to stand trial, to be able to stand trial. If y'all would try to falsely frame and set me up. You know, so um <clears throat> so that Satan's gym is just, you know, Motherfucker, you haven't even, I mean, I don't even think this person has ever commented on my channel, but it's clear that this is another gang stalker who stalks, stalks and watches everything I do and thumbs down all my videos. And as I said, I don't even know you and your fake coward ass won't even show your face. So, um... <clears throat> So, I mean, yeah, talking about some, I must find out the number to the, um, to the, to those cabins. All because you don't like somebody and I mean, just because you don't like me and, um, so you think I deserve to be punished with homelessness. Um, you're not the police. You're not a law enforcer. Get the fuck out my life and stop watching my videos. So on TikTok, they had some on Twitter. Somebody, I don't know who it was, got hateful and blocked me for no reason. And a couple of people unfollowed me. And the night before last, um, it was a French speaking person who professed to be Christian and quoting the, um, the King James Bible, but the person looked African or black or something. And that person got hateful and unfollowed me. And this person named Barbara Boyd, Nikki Chittenden or whatever, she got hateful and unfollowed me on TikTok as well a few hours ago. And I'm like, well, you're talking about nobody liking you, but um, if you're supposed to be targeted like me, why you unfollow me for no reason? I never even did you anything. I'm a fellow T.I. So, um, <clears throat> and so, oh yeah, did I say that while back that Keith Langford got hateful and unfollowed me on Twitter? He was one of the popular fakes on Quora. <clears throat> so, um, so yeah, um, people, the perps will let you know that they've been stalking, watching, following you, and keeping tabs on your every move. You know. <clears throat> so um, so I don't remember what time it was. I went to sleep. Oh man. I do not remember what time it was that I went to sleep. But it probably was around 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I thought I would have gone to bed sooner than that. But um, I, I forgot what time I went to bed, went to sleep in that, during the day. And then I woke up at 4 or 5 something and was still tired and sleepy. And so it was about seven o'clock when I finally woke up. And when they had the police incident, I don't remember if it was before or after I ate. I don't even remember exactly what time I ate, maybe about eight o'clock. And so um, I forced myself and pushed myself to wash the dishes. Hold on right quick, I gotta pee. I'm back. <clears throat> so, um, oh, I had to go so bad. It's 1.03 a.m. in the morning now. <clears throat> so, it was back in April, three months ago, when I tried to, um, 
<clears throat> when I reopened, you know, videos on my other channel, you know, when I republicized them again, because as I said, the gang stalkers attacking my channel, all my channels and trying to attack my TikTok as well. <clears throat> so Satan's gym also lied on me and said that I have herpes. <clears throat> that perp lied on me and said I have herpes. <clears throat> so, um, you know, they, they're making lies and false assumptions and think they ain't know it all. And they don't even have the information off that straight. And, um, you know, Some other stuff I needed to say or talk about or I wanted to, but certain stuff slipped my mind. But, you know, I guess I ended up having more supporters than I thought I did, you know, with some supportive comments. But as I said, YouTube, Twitter, and everything, it's like they, and TikTok, they will hide supportive comments sometimes. But people who you think is your supporters will show you how fake they are and then betray you. <clears throat> Turn against you for nothing. <clears throat> so, um, so, I mean, like 24 hours ago, I don't even remember everything I talked about or what I said, but you know, they want to try to control what soap I use, what food I eat. If I eat junk food, they say something about that and think I should be eating healthy. When I eat healthy, they got, they um, think that I'm trying to live beyond my means or trying to live like a rich person or, Oh, who the hell she thinks she can use. Um, she, who she thinks she is that she think that, she can use um Dr. Bronner's soap. Oh, oh, she she's not even worth it to. She don't even deserve her. She's not even worth to use ivory soap. Well, why do you talk about how I that you and you never you never met me in person, so you don't know what I smell like. <clears throat> but you know this. Constant online bullying, stalking, and I hate that TikTok feels like when you expose the gang stalkers, that it's counter bullying or counter harassment or doxing. But the gang stalkers pretend to be um pretend to be victims when they start with us first, and when they feel like they're losing, that's when they're the victim. Like any narcissistic abuser. You feel like you're the victim when, just because you're losing. But you rejoice and brag when you see us losing. So, I mean, if there's somebody that I heard a rumor about or if I don't know that person, um, you know, and that person doesn't seem like the type of person who would have whatever rumor that somebody said about them, you know, I don't try to bully and harass and um try to do vigilante fake justice. You know, so I don't even try to do that. You know, I and it'd be the main the narcissistic abuser the uh, narcissistic abusers. They're the main ones who narcissistically and self-righteously try to tell me I need to mind my business. But they act like they think they own my business for stuff that's not their business. And stuff that shouldn't matter to them. As I said, you know, y'all missing out so much on life stalking people. I mean, why don't y'all go for a nature walk and appreciate God's creation? How come y'all won't go for a nature walk? 
excuse me. You know, I would not want to live my life stalking somebody. You know, I, even if it's to get paid. And so, um, so yeah, even on this channel, you, you know, I was trying to, three months ago, I, I attempted and was trying to, um, put out my videos on this channel also, like the other two. I was trying to do all three of them at the same time. So, um, the fake Darnell Williams perp, you know, falsely attacked so many videos, I'm thinking about doing a blog, I, I mean, you know, doing a blog post more in detail because there are certain things I can't say on here. So the fake um, Satan's gym perp try to talk about that I'm getting paid and that, oh, that I'm just doing this for money or getting paid, you know, trying to make it like as if I'm trying, like they're trying to manipulate, lie and twist for everything to look like as if I'm always that I always have something up my sleeve. You know, or that I'm always up to no good. But you complain about me, you think I'm vile, filthy, and disgusting, but you've been stalking me for years. You watch every every video. You watch you, you read every tweet, watch every video, <clears throat> and then Satan's Jim try to talk about that I do ignorant TikTok videos. Well, the TikTok videos, I put the same videos on here. And what the fuck you know about um, if I'm not, you're not even following me on TikTok. And it ain't your business. Educating people about the truth is not, um, you know, that is not ignorant. But, you know, you think you know better. <clears throat> so um you know y'all comment on what i eat if i eat healthy you make it like as if i'm not worthy to do so or that i'm y'all falsely accuse me of trying to eat like a rich pe eat like rich people but then you want to act pretend that you're concerned about how much fat you think i'm eating or counting calories, counting money, and everything. So, um, ninety dollars. I'm, I'm sorry, about a hundred dollars every three months, in which this just started. So, for, I mean, the, I got the first payment in April, but then the perps started attack. That's when they started attacking everything. Once they found out I got monetized and got the first you know, the first payment. So I got nothing for May or June. And I don't know if I'll ha get anything for July. And so when the majority of my videos that I get have the yellow mark with ad suitability. So, you know, and a lot of them, so I'm not making much of, that much of money. And when I try to monetize my videos, <clears throat> that was a way hoping that it can be some extra money because I was homeless. But now I have a place, but <clears throat> y'all won't let me have a job. So, um, you know, so this, I mean, I don't even consider myself as doing YouTube full time. You know, I, I, I mean, I do, whatever videos I need to talk about or whatever I need to show. And then, you know, if I make, if I make anything I, I do, if I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not even trying to be covetous or trying to cash in and make as much money as possible or nothing like that, you know, but I really want people to show the show. Um, you know, I really want to show people the truth and y'all trying to censor that. But the online gang stalkers, y'all are trafficking and targeting me. But then y'all mad at me for having a monetized channel and talking about, oh, she's getting paid. But y'all getting paid to thumb, get thumbs, I mean, y'all get paid to thumbs down all my videos. You get paid to lie. You get paid for um, smear campaigns. So how come you don't condemn other YouTubers for um, making money? 
And y'all won't let me get a real job. Y'all won't let me get a real job. <clears throat> so, um, they won't even let me get a real job. And, um, but it's okay for them to get paid to make hate comments. I know they feel like if they can succeed at getting me out of here, they can make big bonuses and big payouts, big money to succeed at um, making me back homeless on the streets again. Because you sitting here getting paid to hate, hating for money. And you're talking about, I mean, you get paid more for your hate comment than I do on the, on the video. I might get paid 10 cents on a dog on, on the very same video that you might get paid $10,000 just to make a, a fake hate comment. You know, you don't know shit about talking about the real reason when you don't even know me and you don't even know my heart or my intent like God does. I know what I did. So, um, Y'all just mad because more truth about this program is being exposed by my personal experiences and others. And so, like, you try to discredit at every opportunity, every every way possible. But you know what? I'm going to keep going. So, um... Y'all sit there and bully, harass, and threaten me. And, you know, I think y'all just talking shit behind, behind your phones and, and devices and everything. Because if you, if you knew me in person, you, I bet you you wouldn't take me out like you've been threatening. I bet you you wouldn't kill me like you've been threatening But there should be people should be criminally charged for um for meddling in other people's business, and you know especially if you mind other people's business and lie on them and get them locked up in jail, you ought to um suffer like ten times the penalty of what you try to maliciously falsely accuse somebody of. I mean, how many of my jobs that I had that the gang stalking network has sabotaged? on purpose keeping me homeless and y'all want to talk y'all want to criminalize me getting paid as i said so far like thirty dollars a month um that sounds like crumbs and from the looks of it it looks like i got less views on the, um less views for june than i did like the previous months if they said i would have two two hundred thirty thousand watch hours but this time they said for june i had 130,000 so um you know as i said i just do videos when i need to and if i get paid i do if i don't i don't but you know i'm i'm not even trying to you know voraciously hustle 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 you know but as i said this was you know, a lot of people had encouraged me to, um, to, you know, get a monetized YouTube channel as a way to earn some money or make money. And, um, you know, y'all try to criminalize my short stories and eBooks that I write too. I'm an author. I don't just beg. And I have not asked for anything since April and y'all still lying on me and said, Candy is still lying and scamming. You know, so if they might have a few people who donate and they tell me, please, they beg me and say, please don't tell nobody I helped you. And I'm like, I damn sure I won't because um, if I publicize well, you know, John Kramer helped me out with $40 through PayPal, just random example. You know, then the gang stalking network will go and try to, uh, that's just an example, example. This didn't happen. It's an example. But they were going hunt for who this John Kramer person is. And then um, they would 
probably tell him don't donate her any money because she's a liar and scammer. But y'all gang stalkers are lying on me. And, okay, Satan's gym. If why don't you post where you see me? Post a video up of where you see me. Um, where do you see me? Um, licking and eating earwax. I bet you you won't, but you, but you want to lie and say that the proof is there. But show it, show it, show it. And then if y'all want to complain about, I mean, it's none of y'all business, you know, but y'all talking about, yeah, we keep it, don't forget, we keep it tabs on your everything you do. But then they want to talk about, oh, we got to sit up here and listen to you. No, you don't have to sit up here and listen to me do nothing. You don't, but y'all want to talk about me being so annoying, but you've been stalking me for year for four years. I mean, you think that you can really subdue me? What if it's 10 years from now and y'all still trying to stalk and harass, but they have fake TI perps who want to try to beat you into submission and try to offer you to sell out. And they're going to, they try to make like, oh, so you're going to be homeless and filming people. Um, so you're going to be homeless and begging for money and filming people for the rest of your life. Is this what you want? No. But they try to make like, well, don't you want a better life? And, and it seems like the, uh, the when y'all want to offer for me to sell out, all y'all offer is crumbs. So, you, you know, all y'all want to offer is crumbs. So, yeah, I mean, well, it's now the 15th, but Friday the 14th, I only ate twice. Again, just like Thursday the 13th. Uh, or at least I got to eat breakfast, but I ate only twice because during lunchtime, oh, I was sleeping. Because of lack of sleep the night before. But I had already started on um, the miniature little project. It, it, it ended up taking me shorter than shorter than I thought. You know, I thought I'm like, I thought I had more videos than that. So um, I really thought I had more videos than that, especially um, videos from when I was in Cincinnati. Hold up. Okay. So, you know, I had already started, you know, publicizing, republicizing certain videos. Some of them I had never made public. But um, I already explained yesterday um several hours ago i said that um the reason why i hid certain videos is to protect myself from being wrongfully banned from all these different places and you know fighting to survive so um but some gang stalkers are overt and blatant with their desires of what they want to happen or what they think I need to happen to me. So, um, you know, they got fake TI perps and regular perps. They act the same, but, um, fake TI perps, they be double-minded and hypocritical because it's like, why would you gang start another TI and try to say we're crazy and need to learn how to act normal? But um, why act like as as if um, you know why you act like you're? I mean, I don't know why the the fake Ti perps they they care about people appearing to be like how that we should appear to be normal so that we can be believed. But um, you don't even have to act erratic or crazy. All you gotta do is say something that's true. 
and you can be sane and normal and speak truth and they will still call you crazy and disbelieve you anyway. So, um, so if y'all bullying, harassing and threatening me and, you know, you want to, I mean, so they want to talk about, oh, Candy likes to repeat the same thing over and over again. Or, you know, or they want to try to, you know, but as I said, if that bothers you, why you subscribe to me? So, you know, I was trying to say that um, in the middle of the night, I, um, I try to do it. I should have done it sooner, but I try to do it while everybody was asleep. But I think it was a lot of the new people, the new subscribers. I think it was them who unsubscribed from my channel. And that was just a one-time thing that I posted all those videos. That And I, and I knew that was going to happen. But, um, so I'm back to like 1280 or 1281. And the fake Darnell Williams perp or another perp, whoever that is, keep on, um, unsubscribing and resubscribing where if I will see 1280 and then 1281 then 1280 and then 1281 and so um, I don't even know if those people blocked me but I think it had to have been the new people or the people way from way back in January when I got like 80 subscribers in one sitting because of that um me exposing the police in Pensacola. So some of the, the, the so-called cop watch people. So I don't know if it could have been some of them who um, unsubscribed in the middle of the night when I posted all that stuff, but that was just a one-time thing. <clears throat> but, you know, as I said, and sometimes I repeat for emphasis to make sure y'all understand and hear me. So y'all won't take things, you know, try to take what I say out of context or misconstrue what I say or take me the wrong way. But the gang stalkers, they do it maliciously and on purpose just to try to make me look and sound really crazy. You know, and you bully me, make bully, harass and make threats at me. And then, you know, you try to get gangsta and ghetto and you want to, if you are an abusive bully, what make you think that um, if you if you a vile abusive bully, what make you think that you got the authority to control or police somebody's behavior, or even as hypocritically comment on what you think is bad behavior? How about you look in the mirror and reflect on yourself at what you're doing is bad behavior? But you you a, a sex trafficking criminal who think you're more righteous than me. So my childhood never left me because I'm about to be 40 years old, 39 going on 40, and still being bullied and abused. <clears throat> so, you know, the video that I did about the Social Security, I could go ahead and, re and um, share them in a community post. So when y'all lying on me and saying that it was perfect timing for me to try to hide and stuff, you know, no, I wasn't even trying to do that. As I said, I was trying to get these out like three months ago. But y'all the ones who's childish and need to grow up. Y'all not only childish, but y'all criminals. And y'all trying to falsely criminalize me and trying to make like I'm the one. Y'all were not on the phone with me with the conversation with the fake social security worker. But you y'all want to falsely make it like as if I acted a fool on the phone with the social security worker. But she can talk to me any, as disrespectfully and abusive as she wants. And she's not even a legal American. <clears throat> Mm 
But yeah, you're sitting there talking about, I must get the phone number to those cabins. But y'all want somebody hurt and killed so bad. And y'all can stalk and harass innocent targeted individuals and then expect us to take the licks and not fight back. And then when we stand up for ourselves, you want to say, and, and if we get hurt trying to defend ourselves, you want to say that we got what we deserve. But the gang stalking network is full of narcissistic abusers. Full of them. That's why, um, you know, when I did the video about that, I mean, the live stream, that made y'all really fucking mad. To the point where y'all think y'all got the fake authority to punish me from ever doing live streams again. So... I mean, well, I don't want to, well, I'm hoping I could go to bed. Um, Because see, as I said, I woke up after 7 o'clock in the evening. And I don't know what time I went to sleep, if it was 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But I fulfilled my promise with taking out the trash and doing the dishes. You know, <clears throat> So, like, y'all block somebody from working and then complain that they're a beggar or a scammer or something. But somebody who wants to do honest work, you won't allow it. But that's like if you block me from taking a shower and then call me nasty or dirty. Um, <clears throat> so... As I said, y'all fake hate anger is not even justified. You know, as I say, y'all hide behind computer screens or phones and I don't even know y'all. I don't even know y'all and y'all don't even know me. Y'all don't even know the truth about me, but y'all want to punish somebody based on lies. <clears throat> so, um... But the way that you gossip about something that's none of your business and you don't and you don't even have your facts straight and you don't even have you don't I mean you don't have your facts straight and you don't even know what you're talking about. And then y'all can't even y'all wanna talk about me stuttering or repeating myself, which is part of my disability. Part of my disability. But y'all y'all can't even spell properly. So, you know, I'm surprised that uh, it's like right after one i I'm surprised I'm starting to get a little sleepy. Excuse me. Oh, oh. Oh. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, um, I miss pancakes and waffles and French toast. You know, <clears throat> so I mean, they have a lot of targeted individuals who said that we have a, that we've had enough, or that enough is enough. But um, you know, the online gang stalking and bullying is more vicious than the in-person gang stalking. <clears throat> well, you gotta deal with a, a whole lot of people who's not nice. And see, they're, vibra they're vibrating my body now. They're starting to vibrate in my body. 
So I mean, I feel I do feel hurt, you know, that all those fake subscribers, you know, unsubscribed and turned away. But you know, I'm thankful and glad for the ones that's still sticking with me, and I stick with y'all too. You know, I I would like to support y'all too. You know. But, um, so yeah, um, y'all don't have, who gave y'all the, the so-called authority to try to think that you can monitor police control and punish somebody? Who gave y'all the authority to think you can do this? So, um, several hours ago, or was it in the middle of the night last night, like over 24 hours ago, I don't remember, but recently the gang stalking network, they hit, they hit me in the heart with the direct energy weapons and trying to trick me into thinking I was having a heart attack. So they're suppressing my videos. They're suppressing my videos and they're, um, you know, they're suppressing my videos on both YouTube and TikTok. And suppressing my views of the tweets on Twitter as well. So it I I would like to um cuz I haven't got to do it that much but and I'm not going to let that fake social security worker stop me either from writing but I feel like you know if I got to go back and start back Spanish all over again from scratch um for me to try to go start back Spanish all over again from scratch, I feel like time is so short for me to try to do that. So I'm not I'm not even going to try to go back to Spanish. I'm just going to um, stick with my writing. But you know, I, I want to like I have a goal today, the fifteenth, to. And I hope I, I, it's not a promise, but it's a goal or an aim to work on two fiction, at least two fiction short stories. But, you know, there was a point in time last year I, I wanted to try to practice to be a full time short story writer. And there was a point in time I was in the motel before the situation with Trisha. I was in the motel and I would put out between three and five short stories a day or try to write out, you know, a lot of short stories, but the gang stalking network, they would, um, alter and manipulate my spelling. And also, um, they would try to lock my hand electronically lock my hand up or force my hand to shake uncontrollably or they would um, manipulate for my work to be erased or something like that or um, cause me to lose my work while I'm working on it. So um, they are vibrating me so bad. So, I mean, it's, it's weird that the wicked try to judge and you judge incorrectly. You judge improperly. You know? But it's like, y'all think that I'm just so unworthy and so undeserving, you know? What makes y'all think that y'all deserve followers, subscribers, likes, and thumbs up for lying and being evil? What makes y'all think y'all worthy to deserve that? But somebody spreading the truth 
and you think that that person does not deserve one support, one supporter, not one supporter. And then y'all talk about how aggravating and annoying y'all think I am, but you'll watch a video like this from start to finish and probably go over and watch it several times. So that fake Mission Possible perp, he admitted that, he and he also, way from Australia, um, gang stalking me from all the way in Australia. Like, you have nothing to do with me if you in places like Australia, UK, Russia, you know, because I heard something about Russian people gang stalking um, American TIs as well. Or you know, on a or especially even on a dark web and stuff like that. So, if you all the way in Australia, what does my Pensacola life have to do with you? You know, why is my life so? Why are you so invested in my life? But it's okay for y'all gang stalkers to get paid from us targeting individuals, but y'all don't like the tables turned on y'all. Because I get more gang stalkers than supportive people to watch my shit. And I don't even have control over that. You know, I got more haters than supporters and the thumbs down or thumbs up even show it. Because they have some people that they might make like they're giving a supportive comment, but they don't give a thumbs up. And I'm not saying that they're obligated to either. You know, but... um. You know, the supportive comment, you know, I'm grateful enough for that. Thankful enough for that, you know. But if somebody might make one supportive comment on my channel, I mean, on a video, you might make one supportive comment, but I get might not get any thumbs up. But then I go look in YouTube studio and have like 19 thumbs down. But then the online gang stalkers, they're desperate enough that they have backups of backups of more backups of multiple fake accounts um, to thumbs down and stalk me, probably for multiple phones. And then you spread on other social media and then get them to... um recruit others to th give me thumbs down y'all are so desperate and pathetic with y'all fake hate it's not even real y'all hatred is not even real it's fake so y'all think y'all got the authority to gossip about stuff that's not y'all business and you you don't even you don't even um you don't even say everything that's true you sit you speak nothing but lies but since y'all think I deserve to be punished with homelessness, you know, y'all y'all gonna y'all going to hell. Because y'all the y'all the y'all the um cyber criminals. Y'all y'all participate in sex trafficking. And you defend and agree with sex traffickers. But guess what? I never cave in. I promise. That I will keep my word on and promise to never sell out. And I'm not going to remain true and authentic to myself, but remain true and authentic to God also. And remain true and authentic to people. You know, just that's all I know how to do. That's all I know how to be. I don't I don't even know how to be fake. So um you know I, I I would like to be independent. I mean, for me to be a full-time writer and then yeah, all that writing and all I get is $41 out of a whole year. Because y'all spreading the fake slander 
you know, telling everybody do not support her because y'all feel threatened because y'all know what y'all do is wrong. Y'all know what y'all, the organized crime that y'all participate, y'all know it's wrong. But you want me to be held accountable for crimes y'all falsely accused me of. But what if the police turned over a new leaf and start locking up you gang stalkers? And then take y'all to court and, and y'all gotta be locked up in prison. Then y'all gonna start crying. But I bet you y'all will, if, if y'all get sent to hell right now, you know, or when the judgment comes, how are you going to lie your way out of gang stalking or try to justify? But y'all, abusive narcissistic gang stalkers delusionally believe that y'all are above God and y'all expect us to fear y'all more than we fear God. You know, I'm just sick, sick, sick and tired of you um, fake, you know, want to be God, fake, um, you know, abusive, narcissistic, control freak, gang stalkers, and fake T.I. perps. Because y'all fake T.I. perps want to pretend that you humble yourselves when you're gang stalking me and then pretend like you can't even handle your targeting. None of us can have a lot of, I mean, if you're being truly targeted, this shit can get really unbearable and we will have our moments where we go freaking go off and cuss perps out. But then you turn around and gang stalk me while you simultaneously getting gang stalked or some of y'all just get paid to pretend, I mean, falsely insert yourself in the targeting individual community with no proof. No proof of yourself being targeted. And you lie and say you're Christian. So. So, I mean. They're really trying to get me taken down. They're really trying to get me taken down. So, you know, as I said. You know, I've been having to pray more often because they, they're they huddling together and, um, you know, making these evil plans to make me destroy my, my finances and also have me back homeless on the streets again. And I, did, and I didn't even deserve this. So I could be elderly or a child. And y'all will still gang stalk me, but then y'all talk about, oh, look, she cursed out an old person. Oh, look, she cursed out a child. But y'all sit there and cuss and bully me all day for nothing. I don't even know y'all. And they, as I said, they won't stop vibrating my body and torturing me. And this is one of the reasons why I can't fucking sleep. 